News anchor and talk show host Katie Couric has always called New York home, but these days she spends most of her time relaxing in luxury in the Hamptons. Her home is everything she's ever dreamt of, full of greenery, a stunning sunroom, sprawling yard, cozy fireplaces, and a view of the ocean. Katie actually came across the property when she saw a flyer of it on the back seat of a car. Once she went on a tour of the Hamptons abode, she was sold. Her 7,000 square foot mansion comes with seven bedrooms, a swimming pool, and is only a few blocks from the beach. When Katie's in the big city, she also has a full floor Manhattan condo, which she purchased back in 2016 for the whopping price of over $12 million. Katie Couric calls the celebrity faith area of the Hamptons home after formerly living in New York City full time with her late husband, Jay Monahan, who passed in 1998. These days, while she still goes to the city for work and has a place there, Katie spends most of her time in a more secluded house she shares with her current husband, John Molnar. Around 2011, Katie had purchased this gorgeous country retreat in East Hampton, New York for $6.3 million. The two-story abode features 7,000 square feet of space along with seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, and even a view of the ocean. When she decided to purchase the home, Katie was transitioning to being a daytime talk show host and planned to relax at her Hamptons home on the weekends when she wasn't working, along with her two daughters. The former evening news anchor ended up renovating the Cedarwood Shingle house with the help of her landscape architect sister, Clara Couric Bachelor. While it was in great shape at the time of purchase, Katie wanted to landscape the outdoor gardens a lot as well. Katie claimed that she fell in love with her Hamptons home right away. She actually came across the home when she saw a flyer of the residence on the back seat of a car. She recalled about when she went to check the place out. The rooms were spacious and had lots of sun. As soon as I walked in, I could picture my family being there. Its proximity to town was convenient for my daughters and it was close enough to the ocean on a pretty street that wasn't very busy. It met all the requirements. Since moving in, Katie has also given fans a peek at her house over the years. We can see that her modern kitchen was designed with white cupboards, gray tiled walls and a center island with white worktop. Katie loves cooking and has plenty of room in the spacious kitchen, which also boasts a stainless steel oven and appliances, and fun kitchen gadgets that she uses in her popular recipes. Then over in Katie's dining room, it's been furnished with a long wooden table and minimalistic wood chairs, as well as a massive open log fireplace with cream stone surround that adds a warm touch. Katie frequently shows off one of her living areas at her Hamptons home as well, which boasts one full wall of floor to ceiling exposed white bookshelves, as well as an oak piano on one side and matching oak table. We've also seen a peek at some of the bedrooms at Katie's home, including one decorated with pink and white wallpaper, as well as motivational wall art. This space seems to have an ensuite bathroom too, because it could be seen in a past photo the talk show host shared. Katie also has a home office, which she's recently redecorated to suit her tastes. Considering the journalist, author, podcast host, and more works from home more these days, it's clear why Katie would need the perfect space to do just that. And she repurposed a spare bedroom in her house to be her office. It's a calming space full of a lot of neutral tones. And when speaking about how she decorated, Katie revealed, my at-home office needs to be aesthetically pleasing enough for a Zoom background, be filled with enough furniture so the acoustics of the room can accommodate my podcast recordings and of course, be comfortable, even cozy. Meanwhile, outside, the amenities only continue. Katie has a stunning swimming pool as well as multiple gardens to enjoy. Her sister Clara said while she was helping her landscape, Katie she loves to harvest her own vegetables, so I also added a vegetable garden near the pool where she grows herbs like rosemary, basil, oregano, and thyme. Aside from the swimming pool, Katie's property also features a sprawling lawn, a few terraces, and a thriving front garden. One of her terraces seems to wrap around the first floor of the home, while another she's furnished with modern gray and black furniture, gray and white rattan candle lanterns, and a bohemian style rug. If all that's not enough, her property has an amazing view of the ocean and the self-described beach person Katie is only five blocks from the beach itself. She reportedly loves to take long walks along the shoreline near her home too. While Katie Couric loves her life in the Hamptons, she's always been a city girl and maintains a condo in Manhattan as well. 
However, she did sell her longtime Park Avenue home that she owned for two decades back in 2017 for $7.78 million. This apartment she sold offered five bedrooms, 4.5 bathrooms, as well as high ceilings and large windows for an open plan feel. There was also original parquet flooring underfoot and over the treetop views of Park Avenue's tulip gardens. This apartment might look familiar to some because Couric had previously filmed a segment of her talk show show. This apartment might look familiar to some because Couric had previously filmed a segment of her talk show Katie in this very home back in 2012. Upon entering the home through a semi-private elevator and into the large entry gallery, you'll find the formal entertaining rooms. This Upper East Side abode featured a generously sized living room, a formal dining room, and a library, which could be transformed into a fifth bedroom. The oversized eat-in kitchen boasted a breakfast room and a butler's pantry, and it's conveniently located near the windowed laundry room and a double staff room. The full-service building offered perks such as a 24-hour doorman, a fitness center, a bike room, and live-in super. While Katie and her husband John sold that apartment, they moved into a new one just a few blocks away. In 2016, Katie spent a whopping $12.17 million on a full floor condo on Manhattan's East 78th Street, which she still owns to this day. Located in a newly designed building at the time, Katie's unit covers the entire 10th floor and spans nearly 4,000 square feet of space. Her condos designed both classic and elegant, as the architect took a modern interpretation of the Rosario Candela design spaces on Park and Fifth Avenues. The apartment is entered through a central private elevator landing, leading to a marble clad gallery that opens to the entertaining rooms on the south end and the bedroom wings. There are four beds and five baths throughout Katie's apartment, as well as a library, which again, could be made into a bedroom. The living and dining rooms have full length French windows, chevron pattern oak flooring, and handcrafted pocket doors, while there's also a windowed eat-in kitchen nearby. Katie's kitchen here boasts coffered ceilings, snack bar seating, a walk-in pantry, as well as specially made spice, cutlery, utensil, and pot drawers. Her king-size master suite occupies a large part of the unit's private bedroom wing on the north end, and features walk-in closets and a spa-style bath with radiant heated floors, a private water closet, and an eight-jet steam shower with a bench. Amenities in the building include a concierge and live-in resident manager, gym and private yoga personal training studio, a library, a private garden, and more. After looking at where Katie Couric calls home, that's gonna bring today's tour to a close. But before we go, and Answer this question for me. Would you prefer spending more time at a secluded retreat in the Hamptons or a luxe apartment in the heart of Manhattan? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!